Yeah, indeed, Brunt. A lot more regular, but also very well rested coming into this game. Yeah. Uh, which is something very rare for a team <laughs> like Mamelo Di Santa. So, hoping that they can really turn it up, especially also just sharpening those skills, those final moments for players who are also heading off to AFCON. Well, Mamelo Di Sundowns have an astonishing 10 players in uh, Bafana Bafana's 23-man squad for the Africa Cup of Nations. Peter Shalolile, who's nudged off the ball here, will be appearing for Namibia in the same group. Uh, asked them uh, just when they're doing their pitch inspection whether there's been a little bit of banter in amongst the team. He says, yeah, they promised to kick me. <laughs> well, I mean, as expected, he's one of those players, strikers that are known on the continent to be very dangerous, so his impact will be no doubt uh, noticeable for Namibia. Mokwena moving the ball along to Zwane and Kona Makalima has ruled in favour of Tupo Mokwena. It's going to be very important for players like Ngaki just stepping into that midfield, not to leave those gaps behind, especially when they're drawing those fouls. Mokwena, the last player to score for Mamelodi Sundowns that was away in Egypt to Pyramids. Uh, a wonderful drilled effort into the bottom corner. Now, Allende has floated that in, but no one able to get a touch. And despite appeals from Peter Shalalile, they won't get the corner. I mentioned that chat uh, had uh, with Coach McQuinna in the tunnel prior to this match, just asking him what he had taken away from 2023 in a personal capacity, uh, where he thinks he's grown, what he has identified maybe as uh, some of his new strengths. He is a person, uh, not just as a coach, but as a human being who likes to introspect and uh, evaluate themselves. And he says it's probably his ability to manage. He's always seen himself more as a coach, but with this the schedule they've had, he's had to manage very carefully as Peter Shalalile receives from Tembezwane. Now it's fallen to Maseko, looking to set up Allende. Still the habit though, lovely feet from Modiba and he's floated it towards the back post. Peter Shalalile is offside. Incredible ability of Mamelodi Sankdowns, just rotating that ball, finding those spaces play like Obi Mudiba as well, just using his feet, making sure that he tries to keep the ball alive. It's a Shalulile, definitely offside. Yeah. Well, Mudiba just tiptoeing past Luciano van Heerden. Mentioned van Heerden is starting for just the second time in the league. His first start came in the 2-0 defeat to Mamelodi Sundowns back in August when uh, Lucas Ribeiro was on the score sheet twice, once from the penalty spot. There's Maseko, also AFCON bound. Takes a, a shove from behind. The big striker, Douglas Mapfumo. Expect to see that quite a lot this afternoon and into the evening. Tall striker, big physicality, always dropping in that midfield to try and assist. Quena laying it off for Rivaldo Kutsia, who returned after a fairly lengthy absence in that away leg against Pyramids, the CAF Champions League group stages. Uh, it's his first league start since late September when uh, Mamelodi Sundowns came back from a goal behind against Stellenbosch. Incidentally, that's the last time that Stellenbosch lost a game uh, last night, coming from two goals down against Orlando Pirates to extend their unbeaten streak to 11 on the spin in all competitions. Now McQuenna looking to seize upon that. Could have been dangerous had he latched onto the ball. And if I may add, Grant, that has to be the biggest comeback of the season. Oh, yeah. Oh, without a doubt. <laughs> they did something similar in January. Uh, Devin Titus was also on the score sheet then. Uh, went 2-0 down against Cape Town City. Nicked a goal before the halftime break that gave them hope. But this was an entirely different proposition. Uh, away to a pirate side as Mapfumo looked to get onto that and now might be an opportunity but Grant Kakana showing great composure but yeah to get back to that result for Stellenbosch just 
the odds really stacked against them just in terms of how poorly they've traveled uh, in Gauteng over recent times and Orlando Pirates still a record at home in general and against teams from the Western Cape so absolutely remarkable and now two league games in succession that Pirates score first and go on to lose. Straight, straight through the center by Ronwin Williams but possession relinquished by Hibero and now an opportunity here for Pulawani City a lovely little chop inside and the shot blocked falls for Kampala and Mozambique has fired that into a thicket of bodies but all the good work initially done by Bafana Nana who will be relishing his opportunity to start after a very lengthy absence over the top of Peter Shalilile that one runs through to Sapunga protected by uh, Lebanon Kaki so they managed to keep the ball in here but Mamelodi Sundowns regain possession Amanda they come into this game having not conceded in eight hours in all competitions since uh, Leconte scored for Tipi Mazembe in a 1-0 defeat out in uh, DRC or Bashi, a game they probably deserved more from. But since then, their defence unbreached now in over eight hours, which is absolutely remarkable. And uh, yeah, they haven't conceded in over seven hours in the DSTP Premiership since that game against Stellenbosch when they came from behind. Devin Titus, the last player to score against them in South Africa's top flight all the way back on the 27th of September. If that's not consistency, <laughs> and I don't know what we're looking for. Kiberos striding forward. Kutsia. Ayende. Now Zwane, stabbed through for Peter Shalilile, showing good strength there. Maseko. And Pulwani City do just about enough. There is their lone outlet in the form of Douglas Mapfumo. Get a little bit of lucky here. Matuludi trying to give him something to chase. And it was at best a 50-50 ball. And Sundowns clean up. It will be very interesting to see how Pulwani City actually make those quick transitions in the absence of Apollos, who I think is always the outlet to compliment um, up from up front. He now becoming that reference, which use a lot of that mileage in the legs. Hopefully he can use it conservatively. Well, up to uh, today, Arsene Apollos had featured in all 15 of their league games and started 14 of them. He is undoubtedly their most creative player, having created 25 chances in the league so far. Matuludi with 14 is their next best, so they will really miss him uh, in today's match as afternoon heads into evening in the capital. It's just that late sort of contact from Maseko. Mm. Matuludi as well, just been so consistent in that back four promises to be a very good battle between Maseko and himself. Matuludi, that is. Yeah, the back four has been uh, incredibly consistent and Matuludi has started every single game this season now. Along with Nkaki. And he has been paired alongside uh, Nikani in 14 of their 16 games so far. I made that contrast with Mamelodi Sundowns because they can't do that. Obviously, they've had the games have come too thick and too fast. As Tepoho Mokwena of four people makes a run straight through the middle, almost latches onto that. Now, Hipero 
not his best pass. of that uh, spot in the Bafana squads heading to Cote d'Ivoire. Good tackle from Nana. Matsuluri. Trying to get it up to Douglas Mapfuma. place pass from uh, Modiba and a very little pressure. Then Sapunga who has nailed down that number one jersey which everyone assumed he, he would. He had to wait a little while to get his work permit though uh, did uh, Sapunga at the beginning of the season. Several Sundowns players have struggled with injury uh, over the course of the season. I guess that's something else you have to uh, kind of factor in when it comes to talking about Sundowns and their 2023 is that despite the depth that they do have, a lot of the time that depth hasn't been available to them. Now Tempezwane, oh! Akona Makalima sees nothing wrong with that and uh, might be a really big letter for Langelisli and Dobu because he would have been the last man in that particular instance. Okay, Amanda, what do we make of this? I think Timbazwane does really well to just focus on the ball, concentrate on that long ball from Ronwin Williams. I think there was definite contact absolutely outside the box. Yeah, it's that oh, trailing man. leg from Dobu. Ribeiro, wonderful tight control. Maseko for Shalolile is looking for the space to shoot. Laying it off now to Kulisa Modau. And a grief Mamelodi Sundowns want that goal. Oh, clever from Modau. He contorted his body to try and get something on that. And uh, had it flown in, he would have been celebrating a, a Giroud esque uh, scorpion kick. Melody Santana's doing really well to get that third man running. Numbers in the box, but just not controlled to their perfection. Maseko. That's just onto that header clear from Kekana. Modiba. And Mokwena. Space here for Allende to operate. Timbers one. Sundowns recycling the ball. Mokwena avails himself as an option. Picks it up in some space. Now he slipped it through here for Hipero, who squeezed in the cross, but uh, as it was running away from him, really couldn't get enough on it. Yep, that weight of the pass is just a little bit too firm for Ribeiro. Tried to chase it, but couldn't get that cut back or the cross in. Sundowns come into today's game with the 34 points from their 12 games played. If you contrast that with last season, they had 28 points at this stage of the campaign. Of course, they were first. Uh, and they were a healthy six points ahead of Richards Bay as Maseko stings the palms of Sapunga. But you can see, even from the superb season that they had last time around, they're improving on those numbers which is really quite remarkable. Set a PSL era record at the beginning of the season. 11 straight wins to uh, 
eclipsed the Kaiser Chiefs mark sets under Stuart Baxter in 2014. Fafino, eight wins to start the campaign. Now Shalalile, skull side of his man, and like Little and Globo did enough just to stay with him. Mamelo de Sundowns are finding those spaces with the ball over the top. Not an ideal situation for them, those 1v1 situations. Globo doing really well, but of course I think Bulugwana City, just in that centre-back position of Nigani and Gaki, they should be a little bit solid. Maseko hustling Mataludi. Corner Makalima rules against him. Now the first clips of uh, Rolani Mukwena, I guess, seem to suggest that he might not have been happy with that decision a, a few minutes ago. And Mamelodi Sundowns home form in the league this season. They're reflected in your bottom left. Uh, play for one four. They're currently unbeaten in 18 league games at home. They won 15 of those. Last time they lost was a uh, 1-0 defeat to TS Galaxy in what was their very first home game of last season. I think what's most remarkable about that run though of uh, 18 home games without defeat is that only in one against Cape Town in April have they failed to score. So they are hitting the back of the net with frightening regularity. I mean, you spoke about setting targets and improving. That has been an area of concern, especially for Mamelo de Sundowns, dominating the ball position, the conversion rate just not up to par. It's interesting then to see that maybe the season is one of those seasons to reflect back on and see how clinical they've been in front of goal. And they'll have some corrections to make because against Cape Town City, they only managed one shot on target, which is by far their lowest return uh, this season. There have been other games where they've managed fewer total shots. Uh, only twice though against Chippy United, they only managed seven shots. Against Cape Town City, it was eight, but just the one on target. And against Pirates, they managed just four total shots, but in that instance, they hit the target four times. Amalodi Sundowns approaching 150 completed passes. And that from Zwane to Shalalile will take them to that particular mark. They broke a PSL era record for passes completed against Cape Town Spurs, that 3 0 win here at Loftus in mid-December where they just thoroughly outplayed them. It really wasn't even a contest. And that day they went well past 700 passes completed. Now ball nicked away from Modiba. Ayende just couldn't bring it under his spell quickly enough because there's definitely an option in the form of Hibero running into space. Kekana to Modiba turns away from danger brilliantly, finds Mokwena. Mokwena slipping it through for Zwane. It's such an accurate pass, it struck him on the heels. Here's Hibero though. Shalulile, he's been forced out wide and tracked by Sapunga. Mokwena clips it in towards Allende. And Pulawani City, a desperate defense able to scramble it clear. Pulawani City just really doing well to close those passing lines for Mamelo de Sundowns, forcing the ball over the top, making sure that they remain as compact as possible. when he said he's struggling to contain Lani McQueen's Mamelodi Sundowns. But 
20 minute mark their defense remains unbreached rise and shine much better off uh, this season than they were at the same stage the season they were relegated back in uh, 2019 20 they had 13 points uh, after 15 games those points were accumulated early in the season after 15 games they actually just suffered their ninth successive defeat a 1-0 uh, loss to Mamelodi Sundowns ultimately they went on to be uh, relegated three seasons to return now shot from distance is well off the mark although it's off the mark via a deflection a set piece here for Bulwani City which against this Mamelodi Sundowns side could present them with one of their better opportunities they also have ability from long throws on both flanks so if they get into advanced areas Mamelodi Sundowns may expect to contend with the, an aerial assault what can they make of this corner that's not the worst delivery Bulwani City have it again. Langilich Lindlob can't find his man. Modiba cuts it out. Now Mataludi working hard to win it. Sundowns escape unscathed. Lovely touch from Mukwena. Kutsia. Mukwena again. Zwane. Ball will squirt out of the challenge for to Pohomokwena. Likely to be the linchpin in that Bafana midfield. Allende gets it back again. Modiba now. in the world to uh, decide on his next move and potentially measure a pass upfield. He's the only player free. Bulugona <laughs> City are going 1v1 on the park and that's the only way they stand a chance possibly in this first half to frustrate a team like Romero de Sandowns. Well, that ball floated to balls, Hibero, and well cut out by Bafana Nana. He watched it really carefully. The dart to intercept. Now nah, Mataludi looking to drive forward. Grant Kekana to Allende. Quick one touch play has opened up some spaces here for Mamelodi Sundowns, and that will surely be a yellow card for Van Heerden. <laughs> Hauling back Modiba as Luciano Van Heerden. And because they had committed so many numbers up front, that was the only option, yep. taking one for the team. Of course, Matira just showing that frustration. He knew he was on his bike. Yeah, despite the fact that he's been fired, he, he still shows frustration that he couldn't get that pass away. He did everything he could to stay up. He knew that a, a major chance was on if he could get that out of his feet. Sundowns unbeaten uh, in their last game of the year over the past five years. Last time they lost their final game in any calendar year was uh, in December of 2017. Kenton City beat them here at Loftus Fairsfeld. So Benny McCarthy coached side. Nana Kosabenta scoring in that game. But since then, Mamelodi Sundowns, the last five years in succession have had success at least partial success in their final game of the season they uh, 
beat Orlando Pirates 2-0 on this day a year ago. That was right after the break for the World Cup in Qatar. 2021, they actually drew with Marumo Gallants. Uh, back in 2020, they had uh, the Champions League game to play uh, against running Galaxy. Managed to get a 2-0 win there. Peter Shalalile on the score sheet. Ball taken away from Modiba. Grant Kikana with the challenge. Oh, Bafana Nana had started uh, every single game they played in August before that lengthy layoff. Past two games, he's Featured off the bench as a sub. And now he gets an opportunity to start. Modiba has drilled this across field. Peter Shalalile being pursued here by Langlis Lentlob. Allende. Mokwena. Modiba, Mokwena again. Matoludi manages to dig out across. Kekana clears, but the the threat has not dissipated yet because they do have an opportunity here from a long throw. By the way, Putima Abe now has decided that Lucia van, Luciano van Heeren, who doesn't get all too many minutes and did start today, a rare start after that yellow card, has been sacrificed here and. They will be bringing on Rodney Mapangule, who uh, this season has been a lot more regular, has only missed one game and uh, has been in the starting lineup 13 of their 16 games played. So Mataludi's throw collected comfortably by Ronald Williams, who immediately goes over to offer an apology to Mapfumo. Hasn't stopped them though from tossing the ball long and looking to get Mamelodi Sundowns on the front foot. But Mapfumo has uh, not been able to recover quite as quickly. It's always such dangerous territory mm. to be in that box when the goalkeeper's coming there for that ball. It's that knee from Ronan Williams he uses it to protect himself because there's just too many bodies in there. Also just clashing into Mukwena, that momentum carrying him on to Mfuma, unfortunately for him. He had to hurdle two of his own players, uh, did Ronald Williams, so it generated a bit of momentum as he flew into Mapfumo there. The man who scored his two league goals fairly early in the season, he's been on a bit of a drought now, printed from Black Leopards. He has quite a presence up top. You do need to keep a close eye on him. And maybe with just uh, this break, the coach is taking those instructions. Just going back to that sub as well. Map, 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 Ole in that midfield. Gorpe, Lafayette, first players like Kevin Mashikini as well, having to deal with a lot of bodies. Oh, yeah. In that midfield of Mamlodi Sandals. And I think a player like Mapungule just has that ability to get that physical presence in that midfield and maybe compete for the ball position. Washington was in our shot a moment ago. He will be so, so important. The Rony City have uh, got some fairly big results this season and given Washington scored in a result that really stands out, that game away to Pirates in Orlando where they came from uh, behind to draw one off. Could almost have nicked it at the end as well as Gibero glides past a few. There were six players congregated around him before he last out. Could see it. And that 
draw against uh, Cape Town City on the 24th means that Sundowns are no longer chasing the South African, all-time South African record for wins, successive wins at the beginning of a season owned by Kaiser Chiefs, 17-game winning run in 1991 that uh, Blumfontein Celtic eventually put an end to. Mamelodi Sundowns were actually the first team to beat them in the league that season. 2-1 victory just a few games after that. That's right. Mokwena can't afford him space to shoot. He's found Shalilile. Mokwena does fire a shot off. Too many players in the way. Now Modal. Mokwena quickly scoops it forwards. Went down under the challenge immediately afterwards. Mamelodi Sundowns this season have averaged just under 68% across their previous 12 games in terms of uh, possession and par for the course right now against Puluwani City in this first half. Passing accuracy as well is just keep increasing. Masenko found guilty for just pulling Matsuludi back there. It's proving to be a very physical battle indeed between the two. Matalud, Grant Kekana under it. Bafana Nana will chase his own header. Rise and shine, have it again. Here's Mapangule, Nana. And Mataludi will fancy getting this into the box from the throw. Well, they drill these in training, so you should expect it to end up with Mapfumo and Kutsia battling with him. It's actually Gran Kikano as a man tasked with uh, trying to put him off, and in the end, that comes to nothing. pressure on the Amalodi Sundowns defensive players when they have the ball. Amodiba spins away from Nana. Oh, <laughs> he better was in space. I think that was the intended target. Those kinds of passes are always the most difficult ones because you still need to get it under your control. Hence, Bulukwana City, I think, have been doing really well to close the passing lines to deny that defense splitting pass and just crossing them over the top, which makes it a little bit difficult. Bulukwana City come here on the back of uh, an away win against Chippy United. Uh, they have already picked up eight points on the road this season. 
That's as many as they managed across the whole of the 2019-20 season when they were relegated in terms of points collected away from home. They actually picked up seven points away from home in their first three away games, including a 1-0 win over Chiefs, and then only one point in their remaining 12 away games, so that contributed significantly to their relegation. as well that we're going towards the end of the year and they are still in that top eight that they've been working so hard throughout the season. Yeah. I think it's quite impressive. And they did start the day inside the top eight but they've actually been displaced uh, because of uh, TS Galaxy's 2-0 win over Chipper United. So if we can fill you in at home uh, of the games that have already played today, TS Galaxy beating Chipper 2-0, as uh, mentioned. Uh, Mahlangu getting the opener, Samir Nukovic netting late on to seal the result. And then a very, very surprising one. Super Sports United from a goal up, losing 3-1 to Richards Bay. Although to add a bit of context to that, May Ocon dismissed. Sundowns can't quite clear their lines at the moment. Eventually they do. So that super sport result, Gabani Lungu scoring. Ocon red carded all three of uh, Richards Bay's goals come against the 10 men of Super Sport. So yeah, unpleasant results for Gavin Hunt and his men who were looking to close the gap on Mamalodi Sundowns. As it is, sometimes still sport a five-point advantage at the summit with an opportunity to stretch it to eight points by the end of today if they win. We have plenty of football for you to watch in January. Starting mid-January, five successive weekends of Disky Challenge action. We'll even be out at uh, Idis Valley uh, in Stellenbosch, an area that has produced so many good players of late. Uh, current studies captain, hailing from Ida's Van and being Dino van Roy. So 20 live disky matches on your World of Champions over the course of January and February. There's Douglas Mafuma for Bulgogni City. And Nana moved along quickly to Mataludi. Suit here by Maseko. That's an interesting foot race. He does get it in. Oh, that was on target. Now Kambala. An oyster effort. Hooked high and wide by the Mozambican. Great play all round from Pulukwana City. A good cross coming in. How it is that that just hits a defender, but of course, has to be that follow through. Kambala just not really getting it on target. Mashakinia's uh, uh, initial effort blocked away. A man who doesn't score a lot of goals. Now Maseko. He wants to take on Mataluri. That is a lovely battle that's developing on both ends of the field. The amount of energy and endurance that both these players have, Maseko and Mataluri. Mataluri had just gone up to give across his back now in defensive duties. Does exceptionally well. Rolani McQuena identified him, other than Osmond Apollos, who's not playing today, but of the playing personnel as Bulwani City's best player. And it's becoming apparent. There's Allende's ball, flapped at it. Did Reynolds Sapunga, but did enough to get it away. Five minutes until the interval. A stubborn Bulwani City. Keeping Mamalodi Sundowns at bay. Sundowns coach said after the Cape Town City match, the result doesn't belong to anyone. You can't come here expecting a victory. You have to work for it. And Pulumani City are making them work. 
Yes, good see it. Little dart from him. Mokwena. Shibero. Reflected uh, from Langlisle and Glover. That one will run out for a corner. I think Grant, maybe Coach Eric Tinkler gave uh, maybe the recipe as to how to keep uh, Mamelodi Sundowns at bay. I mean, we're almost going to halftime and still no, no. Allende's out swinging delivery. Fended away by Ndlovu. And that was awkward. Uh, Sapunga will be able to collect it because it wasn't a deliberate back pass from Ramabu. Sundowns are unbeaten in their last uh, five league games against Buluwani City with the uh, four wins and a draw since City came from behind back in 2018 at home to win 3-2. A game in which current City player Sami Siabi scored for, or current uh, Sundowns player rather, Siabi scored for Buluwani City in that particular victory. Shine have previously had uh, success at Loftus against Sundowns. Reticent Rulani Mukwena not giving away too much with his facial expressions. But uh, yeah, Sundowns record uh, at home against Puluwani City reads three wins, three draws and a defeat. That loss came at the beginning of the 2017-18 season. Uh, Rodri Ramagalela scored on either side of a George Lebesi pen. The one goal in particular will live long in the memory from distance on the on the half volley. That's that the anomaly amongst uh, the seven games that have been played here between these two sides previously. And in five of them, Sundowns have actually kept a clean sheet against Polygoni City. Their best player so far for the visitors is receiving a bit of attention here. So this is worrying. That's become part of the Sundowns culture, of course. A beating drum. And after every match day, the fans, the majority of them sticking around to uh, celebrate with the team. Here's Mokwena to Modiba. Maseko. Fortuitous bounce and he gets it back. Still he continues on. It's a strong tackle from Bulunan Nikan. Now Modiba. Ayende. Bulwani City with an opportunity now on the break. It's behind Douglas Mapfuma was their only option further upfield. It's been a frustrating first half for Pelugwane City having to really defend for most of it. As soon as they regain that ball possession, don't really have much of options up front with just Mfuma, just that one reference on outlet. <laughs> So there will be two minutes of additional time at the end of this first half as Mamelodi Sundowns continue to work for an opening. Shibero to Mudiba. Now Timbers one.
Bulungwani City looking to get into the break level at 0-0 against a Sundowns team that have not been defeated in their last 30, 60 TV Premiership matches. And they've also won a healthy chunk of those over that period. 29 wins in amongst the, uh, the 36 since they were last defeated by Supersport United. It was a good 15 months ago. Now Grant Kekana, space opening for him. Oh, no one closing him down. He thought, why not? But that shot always rising. Very tempting, especially when you get into that third. Penetrating that midfield, Kutrulani just feels he could have done better. Just really try and force the goalkeeper to make a save. Kekana has scored goals this season, but not from that kind of range. His most recent uh, sandwiched in between strikes from Bule and uh, Shalolile in that 3-0 win here against Cape Town Spurs. And Akona Makalima has blown a whistle for the first half. So uh, Mamelodi Sundowns have seen a lot of the ball and they spent a lot of time in the opposition half but to be fair Manuel Sapunga has been relatively untroubled up to this point in yep hasn't been forced He's for both of these teams probably the moment that stands out uh, from the first half would have been the the let off for Langelitli and Global bringing down Timberswane who appeared to be clean through on goal at that point just outside the 18 yard area yep I think that would have been a point of contention that would have been denying an obvious goal scoring opportunity. Well, there was a red card in this match when they met uh, earlier in the season. Levo Hamabwe sent off uh, late into that game when Sundowns were already comfortable at 2-0. They weren't troubled much operating with a man light in uh, the three or four minutes that they had to see out in that particular game. On the front foot immediately, it's a lovely ball for Zwani, the flag is up and Kibero, who is unaware of the fact that his teammate had been caught offside, has scooped that over. Well, it wouldn't have counted had it flown in, but I think uh, you expect a little better from the top scorer in the DSTV Premiership. He's on seven goals jointly with Kanisa Mayo and if you consider all of the matches that he had to sit out through injury it's a really good return for the Brazilian who has hit double figures in all competitions with the three that he's managed in the Champions League as well Kiberos last goal came from the penalty spots against Amazulu in a, a fairly tired looking display out in KZN at the beginning of this month and that's a game that Rolani McQuinnah alluded to in our uh, chat in the tunnel just to say those are the kind of matches where the legs are weary where you have to show an incredible amount of, of grit and heart he, he takes more from those matches than the games say for example against Cape Town Spurs where they brush them aside I think the challenge then comes at dominating the ball position, controlling the game, and finding the solutions in and around the 18 yard. Lovely ball from Kutsia. Just couldn't control it, Timberswani, but Aquino was able to rush onto it. Ronaldo Kutsia in space. Oliba with a little lofted ball. Now he in there. Diva gets it back. Kutsia. Diva again. Shape to shoot on that left. Opted against it. Here's Hibero. That was a crucial header clear. There were two players waiting in the form of Zwane and Shalulile. Hibero's onside. And again, 
somehow Bulimani City are able to escape. That was some rather unorthodox defending, but they've done the job. They've done the job. They defend well. They regain ball possession. And they just almost immediately give it back. I guess it's a lack of those options and that reference or an outlet up front. Well, they haven't managed a, a clean sheet in their last three outings. Have uh, Rise and Shine. Defeated 3-0 by TS Galaxy. They won 0 by Chiefs. And even in that win against Chippewa United, they did concede late on maybe a little Konkove scoring in that one last time they kept a clean sheet on the road was in early October in the Premiership against Kukuni United a 0-0 draw and of course in that particular instance uh, it's away in name only because they were at Peter Macapa Stadium. So the Sundowns fans have ramped up the volume here, feeling as though they can play their part in uh, propelling the Brazilians to a victory here. They have a free kick opportunity with Modiba and Allende over it. Think about some of the extravagant free kick routines this season. What do they muster from here? Odiba with a nice delivery oh, that has grazed off the head, crucially, of Mataludi. Again, players waiting unmarked to deposit that in the back of the net. A well floated ball there mm. from Aubrey, just looking for a slight stop touches. Mariba takes. Mudaw will collect. All the way back to Ronwin Williams. Just inside his own half. Mudaw back to Williams. I can report for Mamelodi Sundowns fans, by the way, that the uh, the digital magazine is out. So there's a little holiday message from the chairman as Hibero comes gliding forward once again. Oh, no. Kicks out in frustration, does Tapelo Maseko. He has blazed that over. Hibero, having carried the ball so far, is actually uh, down after tangling there with Kambala but he does really well to drive that ball just locating a Maseko finds himself with so much space could have done better mm. just keep the shot hard and low Sundowns injury list the shortest it's been in uh, quite some time but will has been out for a little while but he's nearing a, a comeback to, to full fitness from an abductor injury as is uh, Musa Labusa from his Achilles injury uh, Rashid Daruk played in the last match but he's in the treatment room at the moment along with uh, Abu Bakr Nasir but Batusi Obas, for example, is on the bench today, having been out for ages, hasn't played since September. Oh, Shadow Lele stretching for that. Uh, 
Marbu. Into space for Langelitli and Glovu. Makwena wins that race and then is clipped by the fullback. Makwena just being clipped there on the hills by Glovu. That's really well to give cover. Could see a, a header away. Peter Shalulile waiting to receive. Well, it's not often that uh, size can keep Mamelodi Sundowns at bay. Cape Town City did it last time out, but uh, prior to that, Sundowns had scored in 16 league games leading up to that match since a 0 0 draw with Swallows last season. Clever from Hibero. Can't find Allende. Acrobatic clearance away. Tempezwane held up by the presence of the referee. <laughs> is Marcelo Allende aware of Akona Makalima's reputation? Back away now. Yeah. Ref Akona just caught in the mix of things. Just trying by all means to get out of the way. City making some uh, changes here. But Fanonano was uh, really lively in the first half, is being sacrificed alongside Douglas Mapumo. And uh, Tlon Kwe is on alongside Puleng Marema, a man who spent so long out injured but has been such an excellent servant for Pulwani City over the years. Oh, a rare spell of possession in an attacking sense says Sinque gets a shot away. That's a, a nice first contribution from him. Yeah, a great way for Nkwe to really just introduce himself on the park. Bulukwana City just making those changes in that midfield, trying to get as many options on the ball. Gunny under it. Hoisted forward by Mapangule. Cushion back to Ronan Williams. Mamalodi Sundowns have lost just one of their last 31 league matches against Limpopo sides. As that runs out for a goal kick. That was against. Uh, Baraka back in August of 2020 was a home match for Mamelodi Sundowns, although played in the bio bubble at the Dobsonville Stadium. Since then, they are unbeaten in 20 league games against sides from Limpopo. I wonder if he's still thinking about what should maybe have uh, been ascending off in the first half for, for Ntlovo. Contentious, but I guess not clear cut. Now, under a bit of pressure here. Is uh, Rivaldo Kutsia the flag is up? Final match of the year will take place in the, the mother city, that's tomorrow. Only New Year's Eve match, Cape Town Spurs hosting Cape Town City. 
Cape Town City have won every single one of their league matches against Spurs. Spurs have only scored one goal against them in their previous five meetings. Before that, though, there's the, the late game today. Kukuni United hosting Kaiser Chiefs. Chiefs coming into that match on the back of three successive 1-0 wins as Timbers Mane looks to slip it through for Hibero. He gets it back now. And Hibero does fire in a shot. It's deflected away. Once again, Bulukwana City just making sure they make it very difficult for players like Ribeiro to even get a shot on target. That's more like it for Mamelodi Sundowns. About to hit the hour mark here. Moriba stands up across towards the back post. Ribeiro was the man there. They'll settle for another set piece from the opposite flank. expect Sundowns to attack with more ferocity as uh, time runs out here and they look for another three-point haul. Moriba plays it in. Now Kulisa Modao. something from the flank again potentially everybody has plenty of time to measure that one he hasn't been able to find a teammate now in Globu into the path here of Ramabu he's done well turned in fields for Marema but with Mamelodi Sundowns once again Shallow leader. This places his pass for Maseko. Pero. A foul on Shalulile. Free kick opportunity. So this is uh, about 30 yards out from goal. And Tabo Mokwena is immediately gone and claimed it. takes it on, oh, he's forced a good save out of Manuel Sapunga. He's so capable from that kind of range, was looking to add another to his catalogue. Yeah, a real piece of action there for Sapunga. Does really well to get through to his right side. Forced a save out of Mukwena. It's taken 60 odd minutes for Mamelodi Sundowns to really force him to sprawl across goal. Delivery. It's easy to get rid of. So it's Kalisa Modal. He's forced to go all the way back to Ronan Williams.
from Amelody Sundowns. Uh, averaging just below 70% in terms of possession. That was the case uh, in the first half as well. Only two shots of their half a dozen total have been on target, though. So the game between the uh, Kaiser Chiefs and Skokuni United, by the way, kicks off in uh, just under an hour. Bruce Fuma named in in goal for Chiefs, uh, fourth game in succession. He's kept three successive clean sheets. He could become the first player since uh, first Chiefs player since Tumalin Kuna in the 2016-17 season to keep four successive clean sheets. Chiefs also uh, with three successive 1-0 wins coming into this match. If they get another 1-0 victory, uh, it'll be the first time in the PSL era that they win four games in a row by 1-0. Kekana to Ronald Williams. Madiba to Allende. Chiperos on the move, as is Sapunga. We'll gather this. Mangalith Lindlovu given away to Mudao. Slightly behind Mukwena. Allende for Shalulile. Little touch for Swane. And now Puliwani City with an opportunity. But Amanda, Mamelodi Sundar so quick to get numbers behind the ball when they do lose out. Yep, yeah, I guess it's one of those defensive principles, regaining ball position as soon as possible. Across from deep. Deba with the defensive work. Now Maseko has managed to get a boot on that. Looking to send Shalilile away. Kona Makalima will pull back the action for that foul on Maseko. Late tackle there from, from Matuludi on Maseko. Could have put Peter Shalulile on his course to go. Yeah. Turn 20 uh, last month did Tapelo Maseko. I think that makes him the youngest in uh, the final Zapcon squad. Jaden Adams, 22. Uh, Oslo Napolis also in his early 20s. Oslo Napolis, 22 years of age as well. For a yellow card for the Mozambique, Manuel Kambala. It's just the second player cautioned uh, today. The first was Luciano van Heerden, who uh, the coach took off just a few minutes after his his booking. Oh, man, he's not in control at all. Then. Not in control. Dangerous lunge starts up. The referee corner just feels it's just a little bit too dangerous. City with 10 fouls to Mamlodi Sundown 6. Been fairly clean today, Sundowns. They usually lead in terms of fouls. And now Marema can't control. They've averaged more fouls per game than any other side in the DST Premiership this season at the Champions.
kick on. Again, Shalalile, the player at his back, trying to hold on to possession. Zvania escaped that tangle, not this time around. Launched forward with Kikana under it. Clever touch there from Allende. Now they're on the move. This is Mokwena. He's nudged off it. Kona Makalima surprisingly saw nothing wrong with that. Yeah, those tackles just keep flying in. Kampala, just late once again, drawing those, those fouls in that midfield. I think it just needs to come down a little bit. The obvious domination of Mamelo de Sundowns. The tussles, the tackles, because they want to dominate that ball possession. Matuludi tosses it long. Marema hanging on to it. And 20 minutes to play. All the way through to Mokwena. They won the ball fairly. Timberswane. Modiba. Did not to shoot. Zwane now. Zwane does well up against Mapangule. Allende. And again, no way through. I haven't seen a Mamelodi Sundowns. Getting those combinations playing around that 18 yard area. Now there's a space here for Hibero. Trying to cut into on to, onto his left. Zwanez won it. Shalalila has finished it. Dunagwani protests. But the master poacher has stuck it away for the Sundowns opener. celebration that's appreciated all around and relief all around this ground as Mamelodi Sundowns after 70 minutes of toil finally finally find the breakthrough when it seemed like they couldn't find the options up front that high press forced error they turn it over and Bulukwana City duly punished Peter Shalulile always lurking in and around that area. Couldn't make a mistake with this one. Beautiful run from Ribeiro. Fight, which could be in contention from Zwane. But of course, Peter Shalulile always there to pick up the pieces. Pounces on the loose ball from Zwane. Well, the Bulgari City players have an issue with the way that Timber Zwane dispossessed. Uh, but the goal will stand and after a tremendous rear guard effort oh man it's been ruled out well it appeared as though they had uh, Signal for the goal, but on the advice of Maris Morezzi, it has been chalked off. And Rolani McQuenna can only watch on in dismay. Now 
Now, is she going over to explain to the head coach why it won't stand? And it's always also very important to note that the referee also can use her own discretion. But of course, I think point of contention, Zwane coming in from behind, that could have been a foul. Yep, Zwane just coming in there from behind. Shake of the head from Mamuniti. And we are back. Dead level at nil nil. Mamuniti Sundowns implement uh, some changes here. Terms Masheko has been brought on for Tapelo Maseko. They're about to enter into the final quarter hour here at Loftus. Mamelodi Sundowns, actually in the final half hour of matches, have only scored three goals. So only three of their 23 league goals this season have come from the 60th minute onwards. Usually though, because by that point they already have a lead. But today is an entirely different dynamic. They dominated possession, have the hosts, but where it matters most, they have not changed the scoreline as yet. Akuna Makalima did the right thing, she consulted her assistants, that is what they are there for. She also didn't rush the decision. Allende turns neatly with it. There will be a foul. There will be a free kick in favour of Mamelodi Sundowns. Lovely ball through for Masheko. His first real involvement into the shins of Rise and Shine skipper Nikani. Matsuluri crushes that into Masheko. Mashifko, another AFCON bound player, just coming in the second half, hoping to get a few minutes in those legs, sharpen himself, and hopefully have a contribution getting those crosses, finally getting that breakthrough. Some movement up ahead of him. Chooses Grant Kekana. Kutsia. Given away by Grant Kekana as he looked to locate Allende. Nikani will carry it forward. He slipped it in behind, with Nkwe making the run. Ronan Williams quickly off his line to clean up. Now there's a player down for Puliwani City, but Mamelodi Sundowns 
continue on here. This is a big opportunity and it will run away from Terence Mashejo. Promising piece of action there from Amelodi Sundowns. Great ball threaded through by Allende looking for Mashejo. Just couldn't stay on his feet. Just the weight of the ball. Just over 10 minutes for Puluwani City to hold out here for a point. As they did in their last visit to uh, face a Gauteng side against Orlando Pirates, where they came from behind to draw, draw one all. They had lost five straight in Gauteng in the top flight prior to that. Mamelodi Sundowns will stretch their advantage over a Super Sport United side who've played three more games than them uh, if they come away with only a point here. Yeah, but they would have loved to, to make that an eight point advantage. And there's still plenty of time for them to do so. Pulgoni City will, having slipped out of the top half based on results earlier today, not climb back into the top eight with just a point. They've really laid a solid foundation for the second half of the season. Of course, nothing is a, a given. You see last season how many points Richards Bay accumulated and they were almost sucked into their relegation scrap just based on their performance in the second half of the campaign. Hooked over the top here for Tembezwane. Shalilile almost pounces upon it. Moriba to Hibero. Aquino loses out. Kekana steps in. It's pretty frantic at the moment. Allende gets the free kick. So, Mamelodi Sundowns making just their second change. Aubrey Modiba is being hooked off and you can hear from the crowd reaction that they are excited to see Gaston Serino introduced. A man who didn't really appear to be in the coach's plans at the beginning of the season. Modao under it. He's offside. Star man Asunapolis uh, here today. We want a city. Always knew it was going to be a tough day at the office, but it's shaping up to be a fairly good result for them as Manuel Sapunga tries to steal a few seconds and is booked as a result. And earlier, Grant, you spoke about just how Bulugwana City have been impressive on the road. Once again, they stand a chance of collecting just one more point, which we have seen in the past seasons, that any point is absolutely valuable. Yeah, especially a point here. It would be the first side to take anything off Mamelodi Sundowns at home in the league. The last team to take points off Mamelodi Sundowns uh, 
Sundowns at home in the DSTV Premiership right at the end of last season. Maritzburg United, ultimately not enough for them. As there's an audacious effort from range to the clutches of Ronald Williams. Chipero getting away from Ndlovu. Look to thread it through for another South American in the form of Sirinho. Too heavy a pass. Too heavy a pass, and when they do eventually connect with each other and you get those intricate passing, they do find each other very well. Sometimes just haven't really been given those spaces, half spaces that they usually operate in. Allende usually has the keys to unlock any defense. Now Serinho. Kekana. Oh. And the ball has run all the way through to Sapunga. Timberswani put off as he looked to control. Cut out by Mudao. Not clinically enough, though. Isn't quick. Play on, says Akona Makelima. Into space for Ramabu. Oh, skewed awkwardly of the boot of Rivaldo Kutsia. So, in the second half in which uh, Pulwani City have been really short on chances, here's an opportunity. From a corner kick. delivered in by Marema. Kabala got ahead on it and then as it dropped his turn and shot like he shot earlier in the match is off the mark. Serenio. And that one will run away. So it looks like this is the last throw of the dice from Rolani Mokwena. And Sibon Ku is uh, on alongside Batusi Obas, the two men who make weight timbers one in Grand Kekana. Really good to see Batusi Obas back in the mix, a man who has been absent from league action since August. He has uh, appeared in the Cup both domestically and on the continent in September, but uh, haven't seen him for a good two and a half months now. Serenio. There's a problem for Kambala and Bruno Makalimo will bring it back, whether or not, uh, yeah, head injury. So he's down clutching his face and she is obliged to call a halt to play. 
Brad Finisso. Putty Mahafi, I think, can be fairly pleased with uh, his efforts at the helm. And uh, Siema having departed, he's back as the sole head coach. Douglas Chisa was sick towards the end of uh, last season in the first division. Uh, he is really responsible, actually, in the latter stages of the campaign for getting them promoted. Yeah, there was a look at exactly what happened. So there was an indication uh, from the physio when he came on, Solomon Maleka, that there'd been an elbow or some kind of hand flung out. And it appears as though maybe Mokwena was a little bit naughty there. Yep. Mukwena has been really lucky in the first half of the season, getting away with some very dangerous tackles off the ball. But once again, gets away with this one. Expecting uh, a chunk of additional time, potentially, as Katsia thought about the shot. Now, oh, pass! Oh, wow! He's hit that with power. And Sapunga has been able to turn it behind for a corner. Sundowns take it quickly towards the back post. There was no one in uh, yellow and blue actually waiting in that particular area. As we confirm for you that we've moved into half a dozen additional minutes here. So Patusi Obas looking to make his impact felt. Yep, ferocious shot. Proving it to be very difficult for Sapunga with a lot of bodies in his way. Yeah. Well, the man uh, hasn't played much, of course, for Mamelodi Sundas. Yet to net for them. Didn't score in the league for TS Galaxy last season. Five minutes of time to work with. Allende, Serino, Modao, Zinku, and Sibinku can't do uh, anything with that against his former side. Relegated with Pulumani City. Oh, there's a mistake that almost presents an opportunity to Peter Shalalile. Surely he won't try from there. He does. He's just have struck the arm of Kambala. They continue on here. Mamelodi Sundowns. Kutsia deep into the opposition half. Allende. Patusio Bas. Four minutes to play. Serino. Hibero. Obas. Yes, Hibero. Looking for an option. Mukwena to Obas. This will run through here for Mashejo. Serino. Kutsia! Whoa! Inches over. Mamelodi Sundowns just rotating the ball from one side to the other. Trying to find an opening. Kutsia finds himself with ample of space in front of him. Couldn't keep the ball down.
Well, the DSTV Premiership matches yesterday and earlier today, were, goals were in no short supply. Nothing yet as Opas has another goal. It's working perfectly for Pulukwane City. Yeah. Frustrating them, forcing them to take shots out, outside from range. Coach Rulani is certainly not happy. Obas just fancying his chances once again. Well, since Christmas, there have been uh, four DSTV Premiership matches completed. A match that's seen two goals scored, a match that's seen three goals scored, a match that's seen four, and a match that's seen five goals scored. And nothing to report here at Loftus, despite the fact that uh, Peter Shalilile did stick the ball in the back of the net. That one didn't count. And if you'd said beforehand, who do you reckon is a dead cert to score? Probably would have picked Mamalodi Sundowns. So credit to Pulwani City, I guess, in that uh, particular regard. Now oh, Serenio wins the ball. Mokwena with his range of passing. Finds Shalulile out wide. Or does it because there's Bulalan Nikani. Now but to see Obas. He's chastised by his mentor a little earlier on for taking the shot when he had options. Kambala driving it forward. Marema to no one. Last chance for the reigning champions. Shalalile, he's controlled that with his hand, hasn't he? What seemed to be an amazing ball over the top, searching for Peter Shalulile. Just the weight of the pass, beating him, trying to get it under his control using his arm. So there is the final whistle, successive draws for Mamelodi Sundowns for the first time since April of this year, when they'd already won the uh, previous league title. It held to a nil-nil draw by Cape Town City on Christmas Eve. And now 